Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GEM, the Eastern UF and I'll finish up having a look at the GFS ensembles and then we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run as well. Now it is looking like we're going to be seeing westerly condition dominate beyond uh, the end of this working week. Um, sort of by this weekend, the start of next week, it does look like the zonal pattern with jet stream powering across us will be taking over. It does look reasonably amplified, so there could be some cold patches here and there, but it generally does look mild. With the wettest and windiest weather in the north, the cold, uh, the, the mildest and the driest weather in the south, um, with higher pressure trying to ridge up from the south. So we'll run through that in a minute. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow and push as well, the link's in the description. So we do run through the GFS, you can see we still have that cold air mat over the top of us at the moment. And it is pretty chilly out there. We'll be seeing overnight frost again tonight as this high pressure topples. However, throughout tomorrow into Saturday, we are starting to bring in westerly winds with a much milder air mass. You can see low pressures to our north, so it could be going unsettled with showers and longer spells of rain further northwards. But the south under high air pressure, so still rain can move through, but it's going to be uh, less intense as we do have high pressure around. You can see brief northerly wind uh, for a small time across Scotland before the ridge moves over. And then we just generally see a lot of westerly conditions as we head towards the middle of next week. You can see it's chillier in the north with a colder air mass. For the south, it's drier and milder with more high pressure. And beyond that, we stay with the signal with lower pressure dominating the north, high pressure to the south for around day 10. Uh, but you can see beyond that, we do start to pull in some chillier out at times, but generally it doesn't really make too much inroads. Beyond that, towards the end of the run, we do actually start to build up a Scandinavian high, but it does start to diminish away. And we do just generally go quite dry and chilly with a quite stagnant air mass. So you can see the GFS not showing anything too exceptional. No massive stormy conditions, nothing massively cold. Just generally autumnal sort of conditions with cold, wet conditions by the northwards. Drier, but not exclusively dry in the south with milder conditions prevailing um, most of the time other than when we maybe get a bit of a back edge cold air mass for a period of time as a low pressure doesn't move away so we are still seeing the potential for cold weather uh, for the middle to the end of november but looking at the latest gfs operation run and as we see with the ensembles at the moment the majority are maintaining milder conditions out for the next 10 days again it can flip-flop, it can change, um, but it's looking like mild scenarios are winning at the moment. If we do have a look at the GMs here that does compare, you can see again, cold air mass at the moment, high pressure toppling over, and then we do see low pressure move through, brief northerly wind, but really only sort of 12 hours or so. And then beyond that, westerly winds, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, with jet stream powering in. Could even be seeing a little bit of stormy weather there at day 10. Nothing massive. But potentially, we could be seeing some warnings around. And we do have a yellow uh, warning for wind across North Scotland at the moment. But it's nothing too major, so I didn't need to really need to cover it in this video. But you can see beyond that, uh, towards day 10, it does go a little bit stormy. Um, but again, generally high pressure in the south, low pressure in the north. A typical zonal flow. Again, as I said, not massively stormy, but not massively dry either. Um, sort of in the middle. Uh, and you can see right at day 10... You can see a warm air mass coming in from the south, cold air mass further northwards, and just westerly winds, really. Um, just pretty autumnal conditions. If we have a look at the eastern UF, see if that does compare again, you can see northerly winds at the moment with the cold air mass. Then that high pressure does flatten over the next few days, a brief northerly wind through Monday, but nothing too major. Beyond that, we do go generally westerly, unsettled, and right towards the end of the run, we do do see some ridging of high pressure up towards Greenland and northern northeast Canada, which might shift the jet stream further southwards. But at the same time, we do have quite a big high pressure area over France, extending into the UK, with quite a warm air mass under that as well. And it's sort of the clash of these two air masses. Um, you can see some colder areas diving into the North Atlantic, and that could start to enter the UK after that. But it's nothing major. Uh, it's more likely just to spin up some low pressure systems with some chillier conditions. Nothing 
major league cold so it does look like definitely the uh, models have backed off any major northerly um towards the middle of the month could just be delaying it or it could have completely come out of the models and as we see the ensembles in a minute there is still a lot of uncertainty around it's just the majority are going milder so we do have a look at the gfs ensembles you can see at the moment things are looking generally quite chilly but it's going to warm up towards the next few days it's around average or above average for the start of next week and it's going to stay around or a touch above average for the foreseeable future all the way up to the 14th 15th of november some quite chilly runs coming out again down to minus five and right towards the end of this ensemble run um it does go really quite cold on a couple ensembles getting down to minus five or below but this ensemble run only goes up to the 16th at this stage um simply because of uh, it hasn't quite come out so we'll have a look at the six in a minute will give us the extended range but you can see generally a touch above average and in the south precipitation isn't massive because we have high pressure ridging up from the south um, and low pressure for the north so we'll have a look at glasgow and you can see it will be a lot more unsettled you can see for the six z run in the longer term we do see a trend back to around average right towards um, sort of 16th to 20th of november and that's because we have some quite cold ensembles coming out but the majority is still going for around 0 to 5 degrees at and 50 HP, and maybe a few going a bit warmer than that as well, which is pretty autumnal conditions, around average or above average. So we can't discount the colder runs, but at this stage, the majority are going milder. If we have a look at Glasgow, and you can see if there's a 6Z run, a lot more muddled, um, as we do have a lot more flip-flopping of air masses, because if the south is under more higher pressure, the air mass is a bit more stable, so it's not going to be flip-flopping as much further north, so you can see a lot of up and down, going quite cold at times, going quite mild at times, but that also means a lot of precipitation. Because in the longer term, generally around average, um, and that's being offset by some very warm runs, and of course some very cold runs cancelling that out as well. Um, a lot of precipitation around, and just really quite typical autumnal weather, nothing crazy. Again, we could see something stormy mid-month, we could see an isolated sort of um, named storm potentially develop, or some very windy conditions develop at times, just simply because we are seeing westerly zone winds, and one of these low-pressure systems could really rapidly deepen in a shorter time frame, and we'll have to have a look at that near the time, of course. Um, but yeah, nothing major really coming out of it, it does look a pretty mundane and autumnal next 10 or 10 days or so, uh, maybe longer than that, but of course, anything beyond 10 days we have to do take with a pinch of salt, because it is uncertain if you have a look at the 12 z run have a look what we can see over the next 12 days you can see it doesn't hasn't much, much hasn't changed really around average or uh or in general but periods are quite far above and quite far below as well with a lot of scatter towards the end of the run but the majority is staying around or just above the 1981 2010 mean with a lot of precipitation around as well as we do have weather fronts further northwards if we do finally have a look at the uk mess of runs, see what we're going to be seeing over the next few days you can see generally pretty dry at the moment a few showers in the east and a few showers coming into northern scotland as we speak as we see a weather front pushing in with a slightly milder air mass but um it's got under sort of higher pressure which is toppling so it's not particularly strong it's sort of drizzly rain beyond that as we head for tomorrow still some showers across the north through the morning and those will maintain uh, through tomorrow afternoon but generally most areas are drier but more cloudy as we do have weather fronts uh, and changing air mass moving through and then we do see that high pressure move away and we see proper weather fronts move through early saturday could be quite heavy rain pushing through saturday morning in the north and the west and continuing through the afternoon fizzling out towards the south and the east but still potentially some heavier rain at times through saturday afternoon to evening and then we've just got a lot of showers packing in across scotland we do have that brief northerly wind with the conroe air mass coming in so we could see a few snow showers of course over the hills but that really isn't nothing nothing too unusual for um the start to middle of november beyond that again still quite a few showers around it goes, it goes a bit drier uh, overnight sunday into monday before we do see westerly winds with heavy rain and weather fronts pushing back through now if we do have a look at the two meter max temperatures you can see it is going to be pretty chilly tonight we're going to be seeing temperatures potentially dropping down to around freezing, 1-2 degrees in the south. From the northwards in Scotland, where we have the high pressure toppling with a bit of a milder air mass, we could see temperatures stay a couple of degrees above freezing, around 5 or 6 degrees, but there is going to be some drizzle and cloud around. Beyond that, fr Friday afternoon, still quite chilly across the south, 9-10 degrees, and quite widely, 9-10-11 degrees perhaps. 
Overnight into Saturday, not really a widespread frost, but generally around mid-single digits, um, as of course we do have a milder air mass. And then Saturday afternoon, a little bit warmer, maybe 10, 11, 12 degrees, but it won't feel too much warmer, um, as it still will be pretty chilly out there. And then overnight Sunday, we still have that, we have that brief northerly wind with a colder air mass moving through at times across Scotland. But most areas for Saturday afternoon, especially in the south, 10, 11 degrees once again. Further northwards, a little bit colder, of course. And then overnight into Monday, we could see even overnight frost again across Scotland, but most areas staying around mid-single digits. And then by Monday, a proper milder air mass does move through. So by the afternoon, temperatures will be rising to around maybe 13, 14 degrees, especially in the west. Um, and then by Tuesday, you can see overnight temperatures can be holding up around 10 or 11 degrees with a much milder westerly air mass. So it does look like westerly winds will be dominating um, from this weekend uh, for at least potentially five to seven days beyond that. After that, though, uncertainty still does remain. There are still some very cold ensemble runs, but at the same time, they're very mild on ensemble runs. Um, and, yeah, we just got to keep an eye, really, on what happened. Nothing majorly cold is coming out. Nothing majorly mild or stormy is coming out. It's just really quite typical autumnal conditions. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.